Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Braveheart here from 377. Um, so I haven't posted for a while. I've had a lot of guys messaging me. Um, <clears throat> I've just been busy and eating ended. So I like to take the off season and just kind of take a break from the game. You know, you know, I've been playing it for like three years, so try not to get burned out. So just took a little break and um, that's pretty much it. But the subject I'm going to talk about today is going to be... Uh, I guess we'll just call it like Eden prep. What do I do um, to prepare for Eden? Like, how, you know, setting up my points and whatnot. Um, so I typically inspect red um, for the off season, um, but I wanna show you um, how I do it. Um, oh, and the important thing too is I like to do this process a week before. So Reign of Chaos starts in eight days two hours. I want to do this kind of now or within the next 26 hours. That way, um, I can use a basic specialization reset, um, which has a cooldown of one week. And then after a week I can, um, reuse it again. So day one, um, I can flip, flip, flip back and forth and do a few things, um, that I need to do. So the main thing I do to prep, um, prior to today is, um, these construction materials, um, that's 1.4 million of them. I just saved them from the previous season, um, buy them every week from the merit store, save them and use them the following season. Over here, I have 500,000 or 1.5 million of the construction material, which is three of the $500,000 packs. Um, so I just buy three of those. I keep them in my, my bag and I'm basically I have almost 3 million construction materials uh, for day one. And that's important, um, because of how I, um, start my, start my day. Um, so this is what I'm going to switch to here in the next 24 hours. Um, the main thing that you want if is right here, it's these extra construction or sorry, these extra assault and guardian fortresses. Um, if you don't have these unlocked, you're you're not really going to be competitive on tiles um so i i you really want to just place these i i like to place them as soon as possible um and then even if you're not a big fighter and you're like oh i don't fight enough to to really need these um they're good uh honor points too so when you're trying to push your spec points into the season it's really nice to have these extra buildings to to keep pushing um, so that's the main part of this, how I'm going to just have it set up as well as just the uh, processing and then all the way over here to the right for the extra loyalty. Um, you can go up top for reduced healing cost, but I mean, I think everyone's got farms or hopefully you've made a friend or two while playing and they can help you out with resources. So I just go for speed. Um, and then over here on the green, this is the main difference is I have full honor gain, um, full honor gain, um, extra tiles. And then, yeah, I just have a little processing and this isn't, um, I'm not too worried about this setup. The main one is right here, having all these extra honor building points and, um, being able to unlock them. And what I do on day one, as soon as I land, I place my fortresses, all my buildings, and then I open up the 3 million um, construction materials that I have saved and I push my fortresses. I push all four or not my fortresses, my workshops for processing. I push them all, um, at least to level 10. Sometimes I can get it to level 12 or more now, um, since I'm a craftsman and I have all that reduced construction cost, but, um, that's what I do. And then immediately after getting my fort or my, uh, workshops to the correct level and I'm set up, ready to go. And meanwhile, since I have those extra points on loyalty, I can take a few tiles, but, um, here I switch to what I call day one. And that is full loyalty to the right with extra healing speed. And then I have one extra processing slot. Um, and then over here, this is key. This is going to be, um, 18% of extra coalition material that you're going to need. Um, towards the end of the season or immediately when I start taking 16, I switch and I go over here to construction so I can start pushing the fortresses. But for the first week or so, I'm going to be all the way here for the extra production there, coming around, getting these extra tiles, which are key. And then same thing here, got extra tiles as well. 
Um, if you really wanted to do, the best way is probably come up the middle um, for extra territory honor gain, but I don't, the lower level tiles just don't give a lot and I'm just impatient. So I'd rather have the marching speed, um, but I would say technically it would be better to go up the middle. Um, and then right here, these two um, skills allow you to upgrade your tiles, which is key. It's really key for pretty much any map now uh, because so many people are kind of figured out the game and they're getting to high level tiles. So uh, it's really important to upgrade the tiles as quick as you can. Um, and then over here, these, these points right here, I use to reduce the command cost. So you normally get uh, a thousand, I guess we'll call them points, command points. And it costs 200 command points to upgrade a tile. So you can do five upgrades a day, unless you have this. If you have this setting all the way, uh, minus 50%, you can upgrade your tiles up to level, I think it's 13. Yeah, so level 12 tile, even going to level 13, will only cost 100 command points. So you can get 10 a day. So what I do is I drop into Eden, I put on the, uh, I drop my fortresses, open up my construction materials, push them to the right level, and then I come over here and I switch to this. And my main goal, um, and I preface this by saying I'm, I'm usually pretty quick to 16. I think most maps I get there first. A couple times I've been, you know, beat by maybe, you know, an hour or so. But this is, this is the most efficient way that I've found to do it. Um, and yeah, you're just, you're going to drop in and to eat in and i quickly try to get to level nine ne level nine um coalition materials um and i have the settings and hopefully i process them quickly throughout the day um to get to try to take 10 of the level 11 tiles and i want to get 10 level 11 12 11 tiles because that's how many upgrades i have if i can get more that's great but mainly i want to at least have all level nine coalition tiles you know, which are the farms and quarries. And then towards the end, I'm trying to get some more level 11s. That's the next step because at the end of the day, hopefully I'll be able to force a level 12. And then before reset hits, I'm going to use my 10 upgrades to push all my 11s to 12s. And 12 is the key, um, the key level. Um, for every player, that should be their goal. Get up to level 12 and be full of tiles, um, a level 12 tiles, because that's where you get your best, um, I guess, bang for your buck. You know, going from 12 to 13 to 14, it's pretty minimal. You at least just want to be full on 12s. And then you're pushing and grinding, trying to get to 16. So um, that's it for my Eden prep, guys. So, yeah, uh, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, if you got input, too, go ahead and leave something in the comments and give other guys your tips. But this is kind of what I do. Um, that's my system. Um, and, yeah, good luck to everyone uh, starting Eden here.